So we've come a pretty long way. Uh, to finish this up, we just need to create the routes for our profile and for our posts. Uh, I'm going to start off with profile just to see what data I'm going to need to accept. Let me just split screen this. And I'll start off with the post. Uh, so first, let's post to a new. So the endpoint will be a ending with new. Uh, let's open up this arrow function and it's db. And now we have to access the table, which is profile. We're creating a new profile. So let's just leave it an empty object and just finish off this then. What we've returned is a new profile. And what we're going to do is just send it right back with res.send. Oh, and actually since it's just one line, let's just get rid of the brackets. So res.send and new profile. Uh, now we got to go back inside this object because it's going to be looking for the name, which I'll get from the body in the request. So rec.body.name. And one more thing, in this case, the user ID, which is going to be seen as the foreign key. So it's, it knows there has to be something in addition to the name sent. And whatever in addition is sent, it'll see that as the foreign key. And when we pass it, we'll pass it with the user ID. Um, so this is good. Uh, let's start up our server and create our first profile with our with the user ID attached to it. Uh, great. So our server is started. Let's get rid of this and open up the backend developer's best friend, Postman, because we'll need to test the route we just created. Uh, we'll have to create a profile, and it should have some of the old queries from our other project. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So this is this was a get request for our users to get all of them. So let's go ahead and oh, so this is we have two users, one with the ID of one and let's give ID one a profile. So I'm going to get into the body. Let's just copy this URL because it's close enough. Make sure it's a post and make sure we're in the body. Uh, form URL encoded. And now it's looking for the name, right? So name and the value is going to be Thomas. It's my name, Thomas. And there's also the user ID that it's looking for. Uh, and remember, we're giving that to ID one. So let's put a one in here and send this off. Um, and it appears to be hung up. Oh, and it's because I messed up on this. Here you go. Okay, we just got to switch that off with profiles. Send it out. And there we go. Let's get into the text editor, though. Oh, well, all right, let's check our queries. This is the error that we had when we tried out oh, and we get the dot null because it was looking for a different value. But now we need to create the get request. So let's say router dot get and in this case, I want to get this user by the ID. So I'm going to start off with find then ID in here. And let's add request and result. Open up the arrow function. All right. So again, DB profile. Uh, this is going to be a find all. So find all parentheses. And let's just finish it out again. So then will be returned a specific profile. So let's say profile res.send exactly what we sent out the profile. All right, and let's get into find all. Open up our brackets because we have to think about how are we finding this. Um, and again, we'll be finding it by the ID. So let's say where it'll be user ID and it's going to be under the parameters because we have it set it up. Oh, well, actually, let's finish this out ID and let's add the colon before ID, otherwise it won't see it as a parameter. So that's important. Don't forget that. All right. But when we get the profile, let's also get the, the user it belongs to. So let's include and in inside these brackets db.user. And this works because we set the profile as something that belongs to the user. So let's set up our server with npm run dev. All right, everything appears to have been set up all right. Uh, let's just check everything, make sure we don't have any typos. Get back into Postman. 
right, since this get request is, is pretty much the same thing, let's just paste that in here. Uh, let's not forget uh, to change this to profiles. Uh, we're gonna say find, and uh, we're gonna find the for the user ID one. But also let's resend this because we have a new profile. Okay, and now let's go and get back here. And now we can see that the profile is connected with the user and the user likewise is connected with our profile. This is, this is great. Um, you know, what's gonna be happening in post is almost the same exact thing. So let's just copy all of that and just overwrite everything we have going on in here. That'll be fine. It's just, we have to be really, really careful to change every instance of profile to post or else you're gonna get really weird errors. Uh, let's just give us some more space and I, I want to see the values. So it's looking for text. Let's change that out. Uh, command, control D, we'll select two and then type text. Instead of new profile, I will just be getting back the new post that comes back. Um, and we also have it set up. We're not going to change anything in this include. We're still going to include the user that it belongs to, but change that to post. Um, so that doesn't change, that doesn't change, and this is post again. So instead of profile coming back, a post will be sent back. All right, so everything's pretty similar here. Um, and again, it's all related to that foreign key. Let's move this over here, and I just wanna check everything, make sure there's no nothing too crazy going on. This is good, find by ID, post, find all, check the router. <clears throat> all right. Since it's pretty much the same thing, we should just be able to copy this, paste it. Um, I'm gonna make sure not to forget to change this to post. All right, um, it's gonna start to make sure we're at the right route, that's good. All right, so the key, it's looking for a text and the value, let's just give it um, hello world for instance. Dot, I can see something wrong already. I'm adding to my parameters and not to body. So let's go to body, form we are encoded. All right, same thing. So text, hello world. And let's not forget to give it an ID. We have to give it the ID of the user. All right, so user ID and to one again. So we're just we're given Thomas, which is the profile name for the user ID, geek centric, the post. So let's add this. And what do we do? Oh, change this to post. All right, send this off again. This is good, all right. Uh, let's make a get request and we are going to find with ID one again. So let's send this off and there you go. That's the user with the ID and username. Let's go back here and resend this request because now we can see we have related posts and profiles.